Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video and in today's video we're going to be discussing every single blue aka rare challenge that is kind of like a punch card. I mean it's basically punch cards. It's one of those ones where they progress over time and all your progression counts. Um, but yeah, these milestone challenges, we're going to be going over all of them and I mean all of them. There is 71 of these bad boys. Oof. All right, so let's start off. I'm going to put these on screen uh, as we go through. Assist teammates with eliminations. 5, 20, 50, 100, and 250 total. Eliminations while driving or riding in a boat. 2, 5, 15, 50, and 150. Catch fish. 3, 15, 50, 125, 250. The next one is to collect blue XP coins. Well, XP coins are not on the map at the current moment, so they might be later on in the season. I know that this happened last season where we didn't start off the season with XP coins. They kind of showed up around week seven, so who knows? They might come out at a later time, but you only need to collect five XP coins for blue uh, in total. So five blue XP coins, that's pretty in interesting. A lot of free XP there. Collect animal bones. The easiest way to collect animal bones, for those of you who don't play normal solos, duos, or squad matches, you can actually purchase them with bars at Rex at the Dusted Depot. So if you want to go grab some animal bones from him, it's 10 gold per animal bone, and you need to get 2,500 animal bones total. The next one is to collect bars. You need to collect up to 50,000 bars, starting off with 1,000, then 2,500, then 10,000, which I think is the cap, 25,000, then 50,000. The next one is to collect gold XP coins. This is the same as the blue XP coins. You only need to collect five of them. And then the same for green XP coins, which you also need. You only need to collect five. And it's one challenge completed for every one coin gotten. The next one is to collect meat. I don't know if you can purchase meat anywhere on the island, but I do know that you can get this from hunting wildlife. So if you hunt wildlife, you only need 2,500 total to be able to complete all five of the obtaining challenge. The next challenge is to collect purple XP coins. You need to collect four. That's it. It's just four. I'm really surprised. The next one is to complete bounties. Five bounties, 25, then 50, then 75, then 100. Complete common quests, which are unlocked after completing your daily quests, which are the green ones. So these common gray quests, you only need to complete 250 of them to get all the challenges complete this season. Epic quests, there will be up to 75 epic quests total that you need to complete for this challenge. You will be able to get XP from at least about six of these challenges. Complete legendary quests, three, 10, 20, 40, and 60. Now the reason they say 60 is because you're actually given about five to six per week. So if you get through about, well, 10 weeks, you'll have enough so yeah complete rare quests which are what we are detailing here um there's 71 rare quests total but with numerous amounts of stages in all 71 so in these rare quests you need a total of 200 separate challenges completed through rare quests to unlock this final rare quest complete uncommon quests up to 250 the same exact ones that are the common quests except these are the daily ones that give you a little bit more xp you can only get three of these per day craft weapons 10 50 100 200 and 500 crafting weapons is going to be a little bit difficult if you don't know where to find stuff you can easily craft if you go and find mechanical parts and a makeshift weapon damage from above now there's five different stages for this, 1,000, 5,000, 10,000, 25,000, and 50,000. So you only need 50,000 total from damage from above. I know that's a lot, but there's people out there who do this. I know somebody in particular, Johnny, I'm talking about you. Damage opponents, 5,000, 25,000, 75,000, 50, or 150,000, and then 500,000 damage to opponents. That is a lot. Damage to vehicles with a player inside. You need up to 20,000 damage, but there are five total challenges starting at 250. Destroy shrubs. Shrubs are like these little plants that you can find at Pleasant Park or like other locations like Retail Row. Just destroy it with one hit and it counts. You need to destroy 500 total shrubs and you get this challenge complete. Chop down trees. 100, 250, 500, 1,000, and 2,500 trees. Not nearly as many as we had to do for season three. That was a lot. Destroy stones. 
25, 100, 250, 500, and 1,000. Again, not that many stones. Don disguises. 3, 25, 50, 100, and 200. Now, a lot of you are probably wondering, well, how do I don a disguise? There's nowhere to don disguises. Well, actually, there is. For example, if you go to Christina, who is at the Tomato Shack, or, well, the Pizza Pit is what it's actually called. I call it Tomato Shack. So you go to the uh, Pizza Pit over here by the orchard, and uh, you can actually purchase a disguise from Christina using gold. So if you purchase it, you will turn into a prop. Me, I turned into a trash can. Did not expect that my first time running through it, but it's possible. Travel distance on foot. In total, you need to travel 500,000 meters. Literally just playing this game will get you this. Like, you don't need to grind this one out. You just need to walk and play the game and you're going to get it done. 500,000 total distance traveled. Five challenges to complete. About 24,000 XP per challenge awarded. Eliminate opponents from 150 meters. You thankfully only need to eliminate up to 100 opponents to get all these challenges done. Last season, it was 1,000, and I don't know why. Assault rifle challenges. You need to eliminate 3, 10, 25, 75, and 150 people with assault rifles. They are thankfully not making us go to the thousands like they have in previous seasons, making it a lot easier to get more XP this season. Bow eliminations. 3, 10, 25, 75, and 150. Same as all the others. Eliminations with common or uncommon weapons. You need 500 total eliminations with common or uncommon weapons, starting at 5, then 25, then 100, 250, then 500. Explosive eliminations. This is literally going to be the same with every single elimination, so I'm just going to say all of them together. Explosive eliminations. 3, 10, 25, 75, and 150. The same exact thing goes for pistol elims, shotgun elims, and SMG elim. For headshot eliminations, you need 3, 25, 50, 100, and 200. So 200 total headshot elims this season, and you've got five challenges worth 24,000 each. The next one, you have to eliminate 500 total players. Uh, the first challenge is unlocked at 5, then 25, 100, 250, then 500. Uh, sticky eliminations. 3, 10, 25, 50, and 75. Now, what do you mean by sticky eliminations? Well, you can craft certain types of bows using specific types of uh, materials like grenades, shockwave grenades, stink sacks, which you can get from eliminating frogs. Uh, just craft a bow that has a sticky ability with it and then get eliminations with that. Travel distance while gliding. A thousand, two thousand, five hundred, ten thousand, twenty-five thousand, and fifty thousand. Pretty easy. Like I said, just play the game, glide to your destination, and you're basically going to get this one done. Harpoon eliminations. You need 50 harpoon eliminations total this season. Uh, the first one, first challenge unlocks after getting one. And then you get three, then 10, then 25, then 15. Uh, in total this season, you need to unlock 250,000 stone harvested. Um, there is, again, five challenges that you can unlock starting with 2,500 as the base level challenge. The next one is to hit weak points. This is the first time we've actually had a challenge like this, and I'm kind of happy that it's as easy as it is. Um, you have to hit 100 weak points, then 1,000, then 2,500, then 10,000, then 20,000. The next one is to hunt wildlife. 10, 50, 250, 500, and 1,000. Wildlife could be frogs, chickens, boars, or wolves, any of the ones that we have. Not to mention, we're getting raptors soon. Actual dinosaurs. So that will count as wildlife too. Ignite opponents with fire. In total, you need to ignite 75 total opponents this season. Uh, I don't know if it counts for previous seasons where you can ignite yourself and it counts as igniting an opponent. So uh, we'll have to try that out and see. Ignite structures with fire. They cannot be your own structures, but they can be teammates or opponent structures. You need to ignite 500 total. Consume apples. In total this season, you need to consume 250 total apples. Not bad. Just go to the orchard, grab a lot of them, and then just sit in the storm. Consume bananas. The same exact one, you need to, you need to consume 250 bananas. This one's going to be a little bit more difficult, but if you just go around and search food boxes, you should be able to find some. Use campfires. Again, this is one of the easiest challenges possible. Uh, you just need to 
use 150 campfires. Stoking a campfire counts as using it. Consume foraged items. You have to consume 500 foraged items this season in order to get this finished. 500 foraged items is going to be very easy, especially if you go to Caddy Corner and just grind the crap out of those. Consume mushrooms. Now this one's actually a little bit interesting. You don't need to consume just mushrooms. You can consume coconuts, jalapenos, and basically anything that grants you shield, and it will still count as a forged item for mushrooms. So that's interesting. You only need to consume 250 of those. The next one is to lure wildlife. Now a lot of you are probably wondering how you lure wildlife. Well, it is as simple as crafting a hunter's cloak. You craft a hunter's cloak using meat, bone, and a bandage, and then you can lure wildlife when it's on your back, and they will be attracted to said hunter's cloak, and that is also how you tame them. Melee eliminations, 100 melee eliminations total. That's a lot, especially for melee. <laughs> it's gonna be difficult to do that. Ooh, another easy one for all of you easy XP grinders out there like myself. Destroy sofas, beds, or chairs with a pickaxe, something that you would normally do for gold. Uh, you can also get this challenge completed if you destroy 500 of them. Melee damage to structures. Uh, you need to deal total of 50,000 melee damage to structures this season. That again does not include your own. It includes teammate structures or opponent structure. Now I don't doubt that people won't want to do this one but there's another to place top 10 300 times. Uh, this one you can do 10, 25, 100, 200, and 300 for the different stages. So maybe you could do the, the first two Placing up to top 25 or top 10 25 times, but I wouldn't go to 300. Not unless you're insane or play this game a lot. Reboot teammates. You have to reboot a total of 50 teammates. The easiest challenges to do this season probably would be the 2, 5, and 10 challenges, where you just have to reboot two, two teammates, five teammates, and then 10. Refuel vehicles. Basically, that means just bring a car to a gas station and fuel it back up to 100, drive it, bring it back, refuel it up to 100 again, and keep doing so over and over and over again. Uh, I'm pretty sure that is an easy way that you could do the refuel vehicles without having any problems. If not, you'll just have to use two separate vehicles or multiple vehicles and get that done. But you need to refuel a total of 200 vehicles this season. Uh, the next challenge is to revive teammates. You have to revive a total of 250 teammates. If you play solos, duos, or squads, well, mainly duos or squads or trios, then you'd be able to do this. But solos, I don't know why I mentioned that because you can't do that there. Search ammo boxes. You need to search a total of 2,500 ammo boxes this season. Thankfully, they increase the XP gains. Uh, you can actually get, I think, 100 XP normally from an ammo box now. That never used to be the case. Search chests. You have to search 2,500 chests total. The first challenge that you unlock starts at 50 chests searched. The next challenge is to search ice machines. Ice machines can normally be found at gas stations. They usually drop fish as well when you open them. Uh, you have to search a total of 300 this season in order to get this challenge complete. Uh, the next challenge is to search supply drops. You have to search 100 total this season. The first challenge starts off at 5, then it goes to 10, then 25, then 50, then 100. Shakedown opponents, 5, 25, 50, 100, and 250. Spend bars. This is just spending bars. You can do that, especially if you're grinding out the animal bones, purchasing them from Rex, just getting bars and spending them like crazy. Uh, you have to spend a total of 100,000 bars this season, which is more than they expect you to get for that other challenge, so I don't know. Travel distance while swimming, a total of 25,000 distance. Pretty easy to do, especially if you swim a lot. Uh, there's plenty of different areas where you can swim in this map now, so I would do that. Tame wildlife. Again, mention this with the hunter's cloak, and the meat, and the bones, and the bandages, and stuff like that. Uh, you can tame wolves, I think boars, and that's it, just the boars, the wolves, and for now, that's the two, but you also will have raptors at some point in this season. Uh, but you have to tame 200 total wildlife this season. And then another challenge, this one is a really easy one. You just have to thank the bus driver. Press whatever button it is to thank the bus driver before you drop out of the bus on the match, and uh, you've got that. So this one starts off at 10, but you need to do this a total of 200 times this season. The next challenge is to upgrade weapons. Uh, upgrading weapons can be done with NPCs. You cannot do this any other way, so you have to go find an NPC across the map and upgrade. 
The best place that you could go to upgrade weapons, I believe, is over at Reaper, which is at this mansion area on the left side of the map. Um, you'll, you'll probably know where I'm talking about. It's over by Triggerfish. The next challenge is to use bandages and medkits. You need to use a total of a thousand medkits or bandages this season in order to unlock these challenges. Uh, 25 is the starting point for them. A thousand is the end. use shield potions. Again, this is the exact same thing for bandages and medkits. You have to use 25 on the first challenge, and then it works its way up to a thousand as the final amount. Fish at fishing holes. In total, you need to fish 350 fish out of fishing holes. The first challenge starts off at 5, then 15, then 75, 150, then 350. Player structures destroyed in a vehicle, 3, 25, 75, 150, and 300. So get in a vehicle, run into your teammates or opponent structures in Team Rumble, and there you go, you've got some challenges. And last but not least, travel distance in a vehicle. The final challenge... 5,000 is the starting point for distance in a vehicle. The final end point for this challenge is 500,000 meters total. So that is a list of every single rare quest in this game. For those of you that want a full list, you can join my Discord server, which will be in the link below, and I will have a special channel called Rare Quests. Uh, it'll be under the Seasonal Battle Royale Guides tab. If you go there, open up the rare quest tab you will see a list of every single challenge so i hope that was helpful and i will see you guys in the next video support a creator code on screen peace